types of beams in construction different types of beams are used in the construction of building and structures these are horizontal structure elements that withstand vertical loads shear forces and bending moments beam transfer loads that imposed along their length to their end points such as walls columns foundations etc there are different types of beams which are classified based on the following conditions 1 based on support conditions 2 based on construction materials 3 based on cross section shapes 4 based on geometry 5 based on equilibrium 6 based on method of construction based on support conditions 1 simply supported beam it is one of the simplest structure elements that both ends rest on supports but is free to rotate it contains a pin support at one end and a roller support at the other end based on the assigned load it sustains a shearing and bending to fixed beam it is supported at both ends and fixed to resist rotation it is also called a built in beam the fixed end produces movements other than the reactions 3 cantilever beam if a beam is fixed at one end and set to be free at the other end it is termed as a cantilever beam the beam distributes the load back to the support where it is forced against a moment and shear stress cantilever beams allow the creation of a bay window balconies and some bridges four continuous beam a continuous beam has more than two supports distributed along its entire length based on construction material one reinforced concrete beams it is constructed from concrete and reinforcement sometime reinforced concrete beam is concealed in reinforced concrete slabs and it is called hidden beam or concealed beam two steel beams it is constructed from steels and used in several applications three timber beams The timber beam is constructed from timber and used in past. However, the application of such a beam in the construction industry is significantly declined now. For composite beams, composite beams are constructed from two or more different type of materials such as steel and concrete based on cross section shapes. one rectangular beam this type of beam is widely used in the construction of reinforced concrete buildings and other structures two t section beams this type of beam is mostly constructed monolithically with a reinforced concrete slab sometimes isolated t beam is built to increase the compression strength of concrete 3 L section beam this type of beam is constructed monolithically with a reinforced concrete slab at perimeter of the structure based on geometry one straight beam beams with a straight profile and the majority of beams in structure are straight beams two curved beam beam with curved profile such as in the case of circular buildings 3 tapered beam beam with tapered cross section based on equilibrium condition 1 statically determinate beam for a statically determinate beam equilibrium condition alone can be used to solve reactions the number of unknown reactions is equal to the number of equations 2 statically indeterminate beam for a statically indeterminate beam equilibrium conditions are not enough to solve reactions so the analysis of this type of beam is more complicated than that of statically determinate beams based on method of construction 
one cost in situ concrete beam this type of beam is constructed on the project site so forms are initially fixed then fresh concrete is poured and allowed to harden then loads would be imposed two pre cast concrete beam this type of beam is manufactured in factories so the construction condition is more controllable compare with on situ construction consequently the quality of the concrete of the beam would be greater various cross sectional shapes can be manufactured such as t beam double t beam etc 3 pre stressed concrete beam the pre stressed concrete beam is constructed by stressing strands before applying loads on the beam pre tensioned concrete beam and post tensioned concrete beams are variations of pre stressed concrete beam others one d beam a d beam has considerable depth and its clear span to depth ratio is less than 4 as per aci code two girder beams that take heavy loads generally steel section are used thanks for watching